Good afternoon. It's March 3rd, 2015, and thanks for visiting with me in this follow-up to Hoya Inflata. I took this plant, which is a cutting that I made from my mother plant that I had last year. I, I got 13 cuttings. Ten of them I sold on eBay. I kept the worst three of the lot, and this is uh, one of those three that has bloomed approximately seven months after I struck the cuttings. So this Hoya is definitely capable of blooming in a very short amount of time. This is the second time I've been able to do this. Uh, the care, I've, I took care of this plant a little differently than I did before. The first, uh, the mother plant was grown in um, grow stones and this one here I'm growing in Leca or Hydroton and where the care is different this go around is I'm only watering it once a week and before I was watering it every day or two and I believe it was far too often because I would constantly lose leaves even though I did flower the plant um, it just didn't really like all that water so once a week in Hydroton has produced these incredible results try to give you a close-up of the flower here there's I believe there's nine or ten of those there and we have a second pentacle full of buds a little higher up and then peeking around the corner is yet more so three pentacles um, seems to want to flower profusely He's not putting on a lot of foliage um, hasn't grown a leaf in months actually but at least it has flowered for me it has lived in this uh, grow tent over here in this room I'll give you a quick tour that's the empty spot right there that round spot that's where it lives under um, 2T5 fluorescent lights and a um, rather bright LED light that's hung in the center high humidity temperatures around 80 degrees during the day and approximately 64 degrees at night so just give you one more I'll give you a quick 360 degree view of this plant and thank you for taking the time to visit with myself and Hoya Inflata 2015 I'll be back really soon with another great Hoya thanks for watching